So a few days ago, Gearbest sent me a USB arcade stick kit. So what you can basically do with this is build your own arcade stick. Now you can use this with lots of different things. You can use this with Raspberry Pi, um, Windows 10. You can use this with emulators. You can even use this as spare parts on your real arcade sticks. And yeah, basically in this video, I'm going to be putting it together. I'll show you guys how to put it together. Maybe I'll try and play some Game Boy Advance games with it over on my computer. Um, I'll show you all the parts and stuff like that. And if you like the look of it, I'll leave a link to one in the description so you guys can check it out. So if you want to purchase one and build your own, could be quite a fun project. So yeah, this is everything they sent. Um, let's have a look. So we've got nine buttons all together. We have got um, eight of them, which you can actually use on the thing. And there is actually a spare button here. I don't know if I've lost the wire for it, but um, I've got a spare button lying around. And there's two small buttons here. So in total, there's 11 buttons. But um, yeah, these ones are smaller. These ones are actually red. These ones are pink. And basically what you want to do with these buttons is you just basically like um, connect them in. So you get these wires. Um, they don't come connected. I've just done it. And then um, basically you just put these on. So as you can see, I've put those two. Those two are actually on quite solid. And maybe I'll try this one. They should just come off. So yeah, just like that. They attach off like that. And then you can just put them back on. They're actually kind of hard to get them off. You have to pull them a bit hard. Um, you can always push that bit of metal in. I think that helps like release them. And there you go. That is pretty much how you put the wires on. So you just do that to all of them. It doesn't matter which way around the wires go. Um, obviously, the neater the better. And now this bit right here, um, I'll take you through what, what everything on here is. So this is where we will plug the USB cable, which is this. This is where we will plug in the joystick. Um, this one right here, actually, it's labeled on there. So we've got mode, turbo, um, CLR, clear, I guess. And then we've got auto. All of these here um, are actually just normal buttons. So you can set these up with anything. So the ones I'll be using in this video are these ports and these two here. And um, we've also got this port here. Now, I think that's just more buttons. I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, let's start to put this together. First. So the first thing we can do is actually plug in the joystick. So we just need to get this cable. And this cable will simply just plug into here, just like that. Just like that. And now we can actually plug it in. So there should be a port for it. It's right here. And it simply just plugs in like that. It also has like the joystick um, ball, which goes on. Um, I just screwed mine on. Um, they did actually send a pink one, but I swapped it around with the blue one off my other joystick, off my actual arcade stick, because I thought that would look cool. So yeah, this literally just screws on, you can screw it on like that, and there you go. It's kind of clicky though, so it makes these clicky noises, and that's what it looks like at the bottom. So you could get some kind of housing, or maybe make some kind of like cardboard box or something to keep this in. Um, it can all be taken apart as well. This plastic bit just hides the screws really. So yeah, we've got that plugged in. The next thing we're going to do is plug in the USB. Again, this is very simple, this is literally just like a USB plug in your computer and this will just plug in just like that onto the motherboard like that and then we can plug this in later and now we've got the buttons as well so I'm going to be using a Game Boy Advance emulator I do not need all of the buttons I'm going to take the small ones though and I'm going to plug these in here as I said this is kind of you can customize this to whatever you're going to use it for for like emulators on your actual um, arcade stick it really doesn't matter so I'm going to plug in these two I'll probably use these as A and B or something like that and then I'll probably get one for start and select maybe I'll use some of these buttons so I'll plug in this one. So it's going to be quite messy actually on my computer, but I kind of need to build some housing for it. But we've got this one for start, and then we could have this for select as well, I guess. And that can go in there just like that. And there you go. That is what I'm going to use mine for. As I said, kind of like a weird like messy setup if I move these out of the way. But you can always get some kind of housing or some kind of box to like mount this in and then have the joystick and the buttons on top so you can press them and obviously move that around. Let me show you my actual arcade stick as well. So this is my actual arcade stick. As you can see, I've swapped over the balls and um, you can literally just open that and you can see how the parts go in. You can use this for spare parts on actual like arcade sticks as well. And um, yeah, it's pretty useful. You also have to unscrew the edges. I've already done that as you can see. But yeah, there you go. You can use it as parts for this or you can build your own. It's entirely up to you. Alright guys, so over on my computer, we're now going to test our custom joystick that I just made with the MGBA emulator. So what I'm going to do is just double click on the EXE. Um, if you don't know what this is, this is a Game Boy Advance emulator for Windows 10. I believe I have videos on this on my channel showing you guys how to set it up. It's very simple. 
So what I need to do is set up my joystick so it's working. Now this is pretty much the same for every emulator. Um, the, you just need to find where to input the controller. It obviously it'd be in a different place for each one. But on here it's in the settings. And then we need to go to controllers. Okay, now we can set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to move up on my joypad. And I'm going to move um, right, down, left. And then we can press A and B. So I'm going to do this with my buttons. So we've got A. We've got the B button, and then we need, what's that, select and start buttons, which are these two. Okay, and there you go. I don't think I'm going to do the shoulder buttons, because otherwise this is just going to be a mess. So I'm just going to click on o apply, and then OK, and now that is set up. So what we can actually do from here is load up one of my ROMs. So if I go on to load ROM, I can actually find one. We've got King of Fighters. I'm going to open this and just load it up. So we should be able to play this now. Now, it's a bit of a mess. I've literally got it on my lap and I need some kind of box or something to put this in. I don't know. And they didn't send a case of it. So yeah, that is a problem. But I'm going to press press start. It's one of these. I don't know. So yeah, it seems to be working perfectly fine. You guys can probably hear it because it's very, very clicky. And we're just going to select our character. So if this was in some kind of like cabinet or something, like in a proper box, this would be so easy to use. Um, but it's just hard to use because... Um, I'm just like playing it really bad, so yeah. There you go, let's just start a quick game. Um, start at the top, and as you can see, I can control it and fight and everything like that. It's just it's just hard to play because I'm holding like a joystick with buttons. So yeah, kind of weird, but um, maybe I'll make another, I don't know. Maybe I'll find some way to put this in like a cardboard box or something so I can just play it a lot easier. But yeah, that is how you set up your joystick. That is how you get it working. Um, if you're probably watching this video. You've probably got other uses for it, like Raspberry Pi stuff. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.